Hi folks, how are you all doing today? Today we will be learning something very interesting, right? I hope you should all uh, like this very much. So I'm doing a cover page of a book today. Let's see how to create the design and uh, this is going to be fun and interesting. So let's quickly start off. Okay. Before starting off, uh, I would just like to request you all guys, if you're new here, please do subscribe to my channel, Folks Hub. And if you're starting off with any playlist, so please do go back to the channel, open that particular playlist and watch all the videos in sequence right from the first video till the last so that you can understand all the concepts better and you can use the platform easily. Okay. So yes, let's see uh, and create a book cover page today. I already have searched for it. Uh, I think I'll be creating this thing, which is so cute. And yes, it is very simple, yet very interesting to look at, right? So I really like this. So let's start creating this kind of a page. I hope by now you might have understood what exactly we are going to create, right? A web lab project. So let's start. I'll just name this as um, our page. Let's rename this as our page. Great. So uh, first thing we should be needing um, maybe a P tag or a heading tag you can use absolutely. So um, let's use a Let's use a heading tag only, right? So, and then we need an image tag, then P tag I will use and another P tag, okay? So, basically H1, then image, then P and P, okay? So, let's start off with the H1 tag. So, um, here the heading is summer holiday. We should not really replicate the same thing. So I'm just writing winter holiday. <laughs> okay. So, all right, let's, um, let's quickly embed this image. So we actually need a source picture. So it should be something related to sky. So I'm just searching for sky images. Images. Let's get, let's get something which is like similar to that. I think this is, this is some um, actually very near, right? Very, very nearer to that. And it is mostly similar to the one which you have. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just copying image address from here. And let's paste it over here. Wow, I think we're so lucky this time, right? We absolutely got the picture here. Perfect, perfect, I think. Then let's um, quickly do the P tag. So there's something which is written here, right? Every story is short and fantastic. Oh yeah, let, let me just write. Every story is cute and beautiful because they can't really copy paste the same thing, right? So I'm just adding my own touches into this. Then let's add another P tag. So and this will be having Veena Madhuri because uh, yeah, I'm creating this cover page. Yes. So we have everything in place, right? Uh, just let's give IDs to each and every element so that we can give us very good style, right? So I'm just writing uh, head one. Okay, then let's give ID for this as para one. And for this, I'm giving the ID as para two. Okay, perfect, perfect, right? Image for image, let's give the idea as um, sky. Okay, so let's quickly click on CSS. And I'm starting off with the image style because this is so big, right? So big. 
So background should definitely not be white. So I'll quickly open the color picker. Color picker. So let's just get some blue color, a nice blue color, right? Uh, I think it's nearer to this. Okay, this is something like this. Uh, let's check with this one. Let's see if this works out for us. Yeah, it's good, right? Because we can't really exactly take the same color. So I'm just, I think this is good, right? And um, yeah, color should be white. So color, white. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. So is it blending in? I think this is blending in the color, right? Maybe, maybe I should get something nearer to this then, correct? Let's, let's get a darker shade. I think I should be getting that somewhere over here. Um, I think this should blend in. Let's just get this and um, let's check it out. We have to do trial and error method only then we will be succeeding. Uh, no, not this. This is not a perfect blend, right? How is that? It's, it's something like a dark bluish color. Maybe I should go get into blue. Will this blend in? Not sure. Let's check check with let's check with this maybe. Ah uh, now. Okay, I think it's just more. Let's, I think this is also not the thing. We have to go with the absolute blue. I don't think this should suit, but we need a lighter blue shade, right? Why am I getting a darker one? Let's get this maybe. I don't know if this works out, but let's check it out. Okay. Okay, it's mostly similar, but um, yeah, let's not waste time over here on this. Um, let's start off with the image tag. That means. Uh, I gave sky, right? So that's an ID. So let's put hashtag, hashtag sky. First, let's give width. So I think width is 400 pixels. And height, 400 pixels. 400 is too big, right? Is it too big? Yeah. Ah, oh, no. This is perfect, I think. Then if you give border radius, automatically you're going to get this, right? So 50% should be the border radius to make it circular. Okay. Wow. This is what we wanted, right? So let's just align the text in center. So text align center. Perfect. Uh, what happened to this? These are not in white color. Okay. So let's just give white, perfect. Then, um, then what next, what next? So we have to make the text um, place itself on this thing, right? On the image, right? Okay, let's start with styling that. So the H1 tag was head one basically. So I'm just writing uh, font size. Let's start with font size. I'm just giving the font size as um, maybe 50 pixels. Let's try this. 50 is still small. Maybe 70 pixels. 
70 pixels is working out. So I'm, I'm just giving a break tag in the middle. Perfect. This should work. 70 pixels. This is the 70 pixels. Yeah, yeah. Let's try changing the fonts. Font family. Font family fantasy. Fantasy is not working out. Maybe serif. Sans serif. Okay. Actually, this has some curves and all, right? Uh, got it. Let's get it from Google Fonts. Google Fonts. Let's check if we get any font style over here. Mm. Okay, this is too much curvy, so I don't think that should work out. I mean, this is good. Uh, let's check. I I need something which is um which mostly suits something which is like curvy and uh, you know round kind of a letters so we need such kind of a thing uh, mostly we should get that we should get that so i'm just checking i'm just checking let's see if you can get it okay Okay, if nothing works out, then um, let's get something which is good, right? Anything should be fine, of course. So, I mostly feel like... Okay, this is um, this is something similar, right? Whatever it is, I like this, so let's get this. Okay, basically we have to select this one, right? Just a second. Um, okay, we have regular regular italic. I hope italic should work. Yeah, this is how this is. This I like this. So let's click on view selected families. First, we have to get the link to link it with your file. Okay. So I'm just copying this and I'll paste this inside this head tag. This is, uh, this is compulsory while you're using the um, Google fonts. Okay. And you also will get the font style here. So font family here, right? The specific rule of how to specify your font family will be given there. So you just can paste it instead of this. Wow. This looks cool, right? Yes, absolutely perfect. Okay, then um, what next? So let's change the size to 80 pixels. Okay, okay, not bad. Um, we also have to overlap this. That means we have to give margin. A negative bottom margin should work out, I think. So let's write minus 50 pixels. Okay. If we have to overlap this element, that means uh, we can just remove it from here. Place it on the sky picture. Okay, not uh, bottom, then we have to write top. Minus 50 pixels is not working out. So you can just say 80 pixels. Still, this goes behind this. 
it should come on top of this so basically the heading element should come down so okay let's first give the letter spacing and we'll think of it so letter spacing i'll just give two pixels not two pixels maybe five pixels should work out not really right so eight pixels okay no bad maybe this should work out and we want this to overlap yes yes um got it so let's write the z index okay so z index let's let's write 0 0.9 okay for this i'm just giving z index as um 0 0.5 and so for the okay for the heading we have to give more and for the picture let's give less so that this is getting less priority now and that should be on top of everything right so but still it's not on top of everything maybe i'll remove this okay for so first let's write transform also transform yeah rotate so let's write uh, how many degrees we can rotate it maybe minus minus 15 degrees i will be rotating this first let's check it out oh my god <laughs> minus 15 is too much i think right so let's write minus 10. Mm, okay, 8. Okay, this is good. Not really bad. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Or maybe 5. 5, five works out. Okay. So then um, next thing is we have to bother about these things also, right? So something... I think that the same font style should work. Font family will work. Okay. So for para one, hashtag para one, comma, hashtag para two. So let's write the same font family. Okay. So same font family is perfect. Then let's just um, change the font size font size to 20 pixels maybe yeah 20 pixels works out right so after every story we have a break basically so i'm just placing a break tag here okay so that um, wow wow this is working out and lily smith that should be in that should not be in the same font family so i'm just removing this and let's write another um, hashtag para2 and let's write font family font family i think um sans serif should work out for this yeah a very light style a very light style right it's it's working out it's working out so what do we have to do is um just just decrease the size a little bit so font size font size um let's write 
17 pixels. Let's check. 17 pixels is also not good. 15 pixels, perfect. I think this is good. And what else? Only the overlapping thing, right? So let's just um, think of something else. For the heading, heading should be on top of the image, basically. So to overlap, what property can we use? So yeah, got an idea. So yeah, let's um, let's write position. So let's give a relative position. Okay. And in the bottom, actually, we have the gap, right? So to fill that bottom gap, so I'm just giving bottom and minus 100 pixels. Yeah, now it is overlapping, right? So let's remove the extra margin spaces which are there for your heading. So ma margin 0 and padding also, I'll just give 0 so that if there are any extra spaces, they'll be removed. And yeah, the overlap is good, right? And uh, it's, it's completely done. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's done. Perfect. I think it, we have successfully created that thing. Okay. The effect and all is fine. Only the blue blend is not actually matching with this color, right? So maybe if I get any color picker extension, I should get this extension. So I'll just get get the color picker extension so that we can um, pick the color. I hope this should be done. Yeah, yeah, it's done. Cool. Let's check if it is present here. Ah, okay, I'm just pinning this. Close it. Close this. Just click on it. Ah, not here. Let's go here. Let's click on this. Pick. So I just want this color. Yeah, basically this color I want. Copy. Let's just go here and paste this. Wow. <laughs> Got it, right? I mean, we got it. Cool. Now, now it looks like a perfect blend over here. And yes, this is great. Great. I like it. Perfect, right? <laughs> okay. So yeah, this is all. This is all about our um, thing. So let's just add two break tags. Uh, so manually adding space is... Uh, basically hard but giving two line gaps is very <laughs> easy right so i think this this is perfectly uh all right now so i'm just giving one break tag over here to just um you know give some gap there so yeah everything is fine going good perfect so let's try and give uh, another break tag maybe yeah yeah it's good yes so this is all about the web page perfect right i think it's it's cool it's um near to this nearer to this okay i like it so this is all about our today's session guys okay i hope you enjoyed this right and you have learned something where uh, we tried the uh, to position the element right and we have over we have done created this overlap effect also the um, colors and making the picture uh, a circle image right 
and getting the fonts and all you have learned uh, all of this and this is all something new right so we have learned this today and uh, i'm really liking this challenges uh, where i'm in searching something on the internet and creating that as the page something cool right yeah this is nice and uh, yes let's meet in the next video with another rum informative session till then i would like to take your take your leave so bye bye guys please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks ha huh? okay bye bye and have a great day all thank you so much for watching this video